Hi, I'm Britta from Trailer Chicks, and today we are traveling up the Columbia River Gorge, and we've landed at this beautiful vineyard, the Grand Dalles Vineyard. I'm going to show you how to make a great picnic, a picnic that you've never had before, something interesting and much better and not the usual sort of picnic. The first picnic I've put together has a French theme. So I made these delicious sandwiches. They are made from a baguette and then layered in there. We have some really nice vinaigrette, some hard boiled eggs, canned tuna in olive oil, fresh basil, some red onions, red peppers. If tomatoes are in season, those are also good. So then you layer that, wrap it up tightly, and then put heavy weight on it for a couple hours. And these can be wrapped up for 12 hours, they're good to go. So great picnic food. Just want to make sure when, anytime you pack a picnic, you want to make sure you have ice because you need to keep the cold food cold. The other thing I have is I've made some potato salad, potato and green bean salad. When most people think of potato salad, they think of mayonnaise. This is actually a vinaigrette and it's really nice, fresh, tangy flavors. It's got lots of fresh thyme, a little Dijon mustard, garlic, olive oil, and I packed it in this great mason jar. And then to finish it off, I have some grapes here, which are nice, cold, refreshing dessert. Or you could get some cookies or whatever you like for dessert, a brownie, something delicious. So that's a great, easy picnic. Just three things, and it goes perfectly with a nice, dry Riesling. Our second menu is an Italian-themed menu. And it's going to start out with some olive ciabatta. And I've made a white bean and rosemary dip to go with that, which is great. If you're really hungry, you can just dig into that right away. And then the entree is going to be a really nice chopped salad. Everything is chopped nicely. It's something you can prepare ahead. And I've layered it in this big jar. And then I'm just going to pour a balsamic vinaigrette that I've made in this jar over the top. But first of all, I'll tell you what's in it. There's some lettuce, uh, red peppers, some cucumbers, and celery. Uh, marinated fresh mozzarella cheese, some little cherry tomatoes, and at the top there's a mixture of uh, salami and prosciutto and some black olives. So this is great if you have, if you happen to have some nice charcuterie around or some cheese, you can make any sort of combination. For the salad, all I'm going to do is just pour the vinaigrette on it, kind of shake it around, and then you can toss it a little bit in the jar when you're serving it. For dessert, I've brought some nice fresh fruit that's in season and um, some mascarpone, which is a nice creamy cheese to dip it into. Um, we just have some strawberries, some apricots, and some fresh bing cherries. The third and final picnic menu is an Asian-inspired menu, and I have a really nice, cold, crisp, refreshing salad. I made some grilled steak last night, and I had some leftover, so that goes really nicely on top. It's a noodle salad with rice noodles, cucumbers, carrots that you peel, radishes, cilantro, some big hit of mint, and some nice salted peanuts. You could put really any protein on top. Um, chicken would be great if you had a nice piece of salmon, that'd be delicious. Or tofu if you don't want to eat meat. And then the dressing is really simple. It's got the, the classic components of Vietnamese food, the salty, sweet, sour, and hot. And you can just pour that on, toss it to, to eat. Perfect. And then for dessert, I just cut up some tangerines and some melon. There's something about the heat and melon. I love eating cold melon. And this melon has a little extra added deliciousness. I took a little coconut milk and chilled it and mixed in a little lime juice and some brown sugar. So that's just drizzled on top with a little mint. And that is a beautiful Asian inspired picnic lunch. Great with a dry soda if you don't want to drink, maybe you're on the road and you don't want to drink and drive, it's always great to have this soda. It's specifically made to pair with food and not too sweet, so that's a really nice pairing. We look forward to seeing you next time when we make another great recipe. Thank you for joining us. That's how we roll, fabulously. <laughs>